Okay, so some 31 minutes or 32 minutes after 6, let me take you to some of the headlines as captured by myjoyonline.com. And I'm going to start with the daily graphic newspaper. Some headlines in the paper today for you. Our demands are for 2016. GMA explains and says presidents must be properly briefed. So the Ghana Medical Association has indicated that its demand for improved conditions of service is meant to be factored into the 2016 budget and not to take immediate effect. Did we all get it wrong, including the president on this one? Well, uh, Dr. Dana advises gut chieftaincy factions, and the story says that disputing factions in the gut chieftaincy realm uh, have been asked to exercise patients as the case which is pending before the court is heard. Court rules in favor of ADB to float shares. The Industrial Labor Division of the High Court yesterday gave the Agricultural Development Bank permission to proceed with its plans to float shares on the Ghana Stock Exchange. Also 147.7 kilometers uh, Fufu saw Solar Road inaugurated that we reported extensively in our AM news. Let's get to the Daily Guide newspaper. Kofi Boache strikes in Kumasi. We tanker busted. 100 robbers napped. Also three in trouble over Samoajan sex tape. Reggae musician and president of the Music Council of Ghana, Echo Maika, has been charged with conspiracy to extort money from Black Stars Captain Asamwaja. Now, the twist of this whole thing, you remember the young lady who claims she's pregnant for Asamwaja? That incident that ended up at the Odoko police station, after which she also reported at the ministry's police station that she had been raped by Asamwaja. Well, apparently, uh, and allegedly, that young lady is the ex of this reggae musician and president of the Music Council of Ghana, called Micah. So they say it's a whole deal. I mean, it was properly planned. We'll see uh, what the end would say. Uh, our focus fate hangs. The much anticipated motion for bill filed by lawyers of our. Gregory Afoko, one of the two persons standing trial over the murder of the Upper East Regional Chairman of the NPP, Adam Smahama, could not be moved on Thursday, August 6, 2015. You want to know why? I guess you have to grab the Daily Guide newspaper. Let's get into the weekend finder now. Let's see some of the headlines. Mahama Gunman to be freed. Lawyer set to file uh, Sechowari to quash conviction. So information gathered by the Weekend Finder indicates that plans are far advanced to quash the decision of the circuit court that sentenced Charles Aintree, who is 36, the man at the center of the president assassination attempt. President Mahama inaugurates $50 million planned for uh, Pomo and Juno Tomato. The General Telegraph reports Four armed robbers arrested, one killed, and the story says that one was shot dead while four suspected armed robbers were arrested by the Eastern Regional Police Command at Insawem on Thursday. AMA, Osu residents at war. Apparently, residents and shop owners at Osu here in Accra are in a state of uncertainty over their properties as the AMA served notice Monday on some structures to be cleared in the area. The AMA is dead serious on clearing structures that have been situated illegally. The Today newspaper says, balance the economy, not budget. So macrofinance analyst Kwame Ofori Asumening has advised government to concentrate on balancing the economy rather than balancing its budget. Go to high court, Supreme Court tells PPP. So the Supreme Court has asked... PPP to go to the High Court to seek the enforcement of the Free Compulsory Universal Basic Education as enshrined in the 1992 Constitution. Let's see if they would go. The Business and Financial Times now. Stock market gains tumble. We are on course for faster rebound. That's according to Finance Minister Seth Tekpe. Develop local mortgages. Uh, you can find out who's making that call in the Business and Financial Times newspaper. But let me take you to myjoyonline.com proper. Let's check out some of the stories there. Striking doctors sued. Uh, Bedding of stopping doctor strike is on GMA, not government. That's according to a labor expert. You might want to read the full details. Court throws out Unicoff application to stop ADB IPO. Uh, that's also another story here. Suspected killer of Islamic uh, Muazin in Kumasi arrested. You can read details of that 
also here. Okay, let me take you to CTFM online right now. Let's check out some of the headlines. Government delays tr triggered our strike. That's according to UTAC. So apparently the delay between uh, the discussions or the negotiations, if you like, caused the UTAC members to say that, hey, you know what, we're not going back to the classroom if you don't pay us our book and research allowance. 600 million Ghana cities oil money unaccounted for. That's according to ASIP. West Blue Deal freight forwarder, forwarder sues government again. Our conditions of service proposal was for 2016. So that's GMA coming clear on this matter. And I'm just wondering how governments could get that wrong, that they didn't mean that factor it in this year's budget, which they say cannot take any demand that's being asked by anybody. Buhari orders take over of airspace from Ghana for first time in 70 years. I'm definitely interested in the details of the story, but I'll go back there. Let me right now take you to graphic.com.gh uh, and check out some of the headlines in the general news on the website. Abortion high at Buduburim. Uh, criminal abortion is on the increase among teenagers at Buduburim in the central region. Full year without polio in Africa. We can celebrate, can't we? Ghana develops national climate change learning strategy. Uh, Police arrest four for robbing travelers on Accra Kumasi Highway. These, among other stories on the websites that you can check out. But this story that I wanted to open up a bit for all of us uh, says that Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari has directed the Ministry of Aviation to take over from Ghana the management of the Nigerian airspace in the Gulf of Guinea. The president also expressed concern about the absence of a national carrier and directed the ministry to look into the possibility of having one as soon as possible. Let me take you to bbc.com, the final story we will take a look at. Uh, defiant no Donald Trump dominates U.S. Republican debate. So the, there was a debate, uh, and you know, if you read the details of the story, the candidates were 10. Can you imagine all wanting to be president on the ticket of the Republican uh, Party? Uh, and we're told that Donald Trump continued to dominate the Republican race for U.S. president by causing further controversies in the first debate. Uh, the tycoon's refusal to rule out a third-party run due boos from the audience on Thursday night. You can continue to read a lot of it. That's if you want to comment on any of the things you've heard so far, please do go to facebook.com forward slash news on TV. You're watching the AM Show.